Should you follow trends to sell t-shirts and apparel? Let's find out. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Carrie here from Shirt School. If you're brand new here, welcome to the channel. And if you're a returning watcher, thanks for being part of the family. Today, we're gonna dive into following trends to sell your t-shirts and apparel or really any products. Should you do it and how should you approach it? And what is my philosophy on this? So let's dive in. To start this off, I need to give you some backstory on kind of my philosophy and how I teach that you should approach your, your t-shirt apparel or print on demand business. I believe the riches are in the niches. So I am not a t-shirt seller that is just chasing whatever is the current hot fad and trying to put up a million designs in hopes that one goes viral or one you know kind of pops off. That's not really how I approach it. I've always been someone who personally, I like to create a niche store around a specific passion or interest and I go after that community of people that is interested in that thing. And that's exactly what I teach to my students inside of Shirt School and inside of all of our programs. Now I'm not saying there's anything wrong with doing that, I just think it's a much harder way to have success than building a niche around maybe something that you're passionate about and going after that specific group of people. That being said, you can still absolutely incorporate trends into your niche store and here's how to do it. There are two main ways that I think you should incorporate trends into your niche. The first way is anything happening inside of your niche, you can create new designs around that. As an example, let's say you're selling mom tees and mom apparel and a famous mom is in the news and something happens you know, to that famous mom uh, that might be noteworthy, that would be something that you might wanna incorporate into your brand. Maybe they, they had a saying that was really funny related to motherhood and you could put that on a t-shirt and incorporate that into your mom brand. So just to recap, anything that happens inside of your niche, inside of the community you are targeting, that you might be able to capitalize on a little bit of that virality and a little bit of that trend that is happening inside your niche. The second way to incorporate trends into your niche is anything happening kind of in the mainstream news, anything that's trending out there in the world that you could take that and then adapt it back to your niche, relate it back to your niche and create kind of a viral design that uh, capitalizes on what's happening. So again, let's say some, something comes out that somebody famous said in the news and you can maybe change a couple words in that saying and relate it back to your niche and create maybe something funny or something relatable where people would recognize that you were, you were just kind of riffing off of that thing that happened in the news. This is a great, great way to drive sales and to put a product out there that people will recognize instantly because you're taking some inspiration from something that happened in the news, something that kind of went viral. There's one more trend that I think almost every store and every niche can capitalize on and that is holidays. Holidays are built in each year and they automatically have that viral nature. Everybody is talking about them, most people celebrate them. So around the holidays, there is usually a lot of opportunity to capitalize on trends. Let's take Mother's Day and Father's Day, for instance. No matter what niche you are in, if your ideal customer in that niche might be a mom or a dad, or if you have moms and dads inside of your community that you are targeting, it might be a great opportunity to either just sell your products to them for Mother's and Father's Day, or create some new designs, some new t-shirts, or whatever the case may be, that incorporate moms and dads into your designs. Really quick before we go any further, I wanna show you an example of what not to do. So the design you're looking at right now, it says, I stand with Ukraine. Now this t-shirt is actually for, you know, like Bigfoot, the Bigfoot niche or the Yeti niche, right? So that's kind of their niche. What they've done is they've taken this thing in the news, which is, you know, this war that is happening with Russia and Ukraine, and they've put that on a t-shirt. They've kind of adapted it back to their niche. So they've got this kind of Bigfoot character carrying the Ukraine flag. In my opinion, this is a really bad look and I don't recommend that you do this. Now, let's break it down a little bit further. What this brand has done here is exactly what I'm telling you to do. They've taken something in the mainstream and they've adapted it to their niche. So they've got the Bigfoot niche along with this event that's happening. That's a great way to get sales, 
but this is a really, really bad look capitalizing on something that is obviously a horrific tragedy uh, and that you know you just shouldn't try to make money off of. So I would highly encourage you that when stuff come, like this comes around that is you know, uh, detrimental to people, it's you know, a horrible situation, don't try to make money off of that. I do think that in this situation, the customers that are buying this, they have good intentions, right? They wanna show other people that they stand with Ukraine and I think that's great, but I went and looked at, the, I won't tell you where this came from, but I went and looked at the website and there was no indication that they were donating any of the profits, that they were supporting you know, Ukraine with this. They were literally just trying to make a few bucks off of what's happening to the Ukrainian people and the, and the country there. And so this is an example of what not to do. Let's take a look at a few tools you can use to find trends and kind of how to research them. The first one we'll take a look at is Reddit and really it's social media and I'm using Reddit as kind of a form of social media. But if you're not aware of what Reddit is, there are all of these little feeds that people go on and they just talk about subjects inside of these niches and inside of these interests and around different topics. And it's a great, great research tool because there is a Reddit thread for almost anything you can think of. I found probably hundreds of t-shirt design ideas from searching Reddit. And the great thing is you find what is trending right now. So just as a quick example, I've pulled up the motorcycle Reddit feed. So if I was in the motorcycle niche, I would absolutely be a part of this Reddit feed. I'd be having an account here and everything. And I would be watching this closely for what people are posting about and what people are, you know, that you can actually vote for these and, and move them up the list. So the ones you see at the top are usually trending a little bit more. And then I would be looking for ideas around what's in this Reddit feed. Another way that is related to this is just social media, right? Being inside of Facebook groups, following a lot of different Instagram profiles that are related to your niche, that have people in them that are in your niche, and especially following influential people is how you can keep a really good beat on what is trending in your community, in your niche. So I'd absolutely recommend that you are keeping close eyes on Reddit feeds, blogs, influencers, and also social media groups and social media uh, pages and accounts that are in your niche. In my opinion, this is the best way to find trending things inside your niche is just being a part of the community, being on the ground floor with, with everybody participating. That's how you can learn what is trending and what is important to your customer. Another great tool is Google Trends. You can actually see what is being searched the most on Google, and this can be a really, really uh, great way to find, you know, as a big picture, what is the world searching for or what is your country searching for and how can you capitalize on that? If you go over here on the left, there's a few different tabs. We can take a look at what we're looking at right now, which is trending searches, and it will show us every single day kind of what's trending. What I like to use this for is I like to look at a high level what people are paying attention to, and then I'll go and do my own search re you know, research on these different things to see why people are talking about them, and a lot of times I'll be able to get really, really great ideas from this tool. The last tool I wanna to show you is probably my favorite. It's one I use all the time. It is called Profit Busters. Profit Busters is a software that allows you to see what print on demand products are actually selling in the marketplace right now. So every single day, the Profit Busters team uploads multiple products that you can go and you can see the ads, the landing pages, you can see obviously the designs. There are some filtering options up here at the top. It is an incredible tool to see what people are actually buying right now and find inspiration for your next design. So I love going through here and looking at what is selling, seeing what the ads look like, seeing what the landed landing pages look like. It's really an invaluable tool. If you'd like to check out Profit Busters, here's a little bit about the pricing. $15 per month on their basic plan and $38 per month on their premium plan. You can do monthly or you can get 25% off by paying for six months up front. You see they've recently added Etsy products. So you get a total of 10 trending products per day that are added every single day. It's almost 
in a limited supply because when you sign up, you get access to all of the old products. So you get new fresh products every day, five Facebook ads products and five trending Etsy products. And then you see a whole slew of other benefits that you get when you sign up for Profit Busters. On the premium plan, you also get the benefit of getting their design downloads. These are fully editable designs that you can change out the words, change out you know whatever you want, the color scheme, that kind of thing. And you can use them on your own print on demand products. There's no licensing or anything like that. You get access to those when you become a part of Profit Busters on the premium plan. If you like what I've shown you here on Profit Busters and you'd like to sign up, just go over to shirtschool.com slash Profit Busters. I'll also leave that link down in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this video today and you've learned a little bit about how you can incorporate trends into your t-shirt or apparel business. If you wanna help me get this video trending, hit the like button right now. It really, really helps me out. Also consider subscribing to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. That'll make sure you get notified every time we release videos and you won't miss anything. Thank you.